Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to remove duplicates, essentially get the unique values. And we'll be working on a few different functions. So we have our data set, very simple data set. We have a list of customer names with us. And you can clearly see that some of these names are repeated. Now, the first thing would be to verify, are they names that are repeating? And if so, which ones are they? I will simply select the entire range. And then on home, we can go to conditional formatting. And here we have an option called highlight cell and duplicate values. And it does a job for us. It basically highlights all the cells that are duplicated. Now, if you wanted to remove the duplicates manually, I can simply go over to data and then select remove duplicates. Once we do that and we click on OK, it says five duplicate values were found and removed, and there are nine unique values that remain. Not very difficult, but the problem is that this expects you to either make a copy of the data and then do this task, or you have to do it on the direct data set, which might not be what you want. A simpler way of doing this would be to simply write unique, which is a dynamic array function, and you select the range, and there we go. It gives us the nine customer names like this. Now, one challenge that you might have is that what will happen if I add more names in the future? because the formula is only connected to eight to 21 row, right? For this, we can simply say equal to, and what I would like to do here is to say unique of the entire column B. So think what will happen in addition to the nine unique names that we have, two extra values will get picked up. One is the blank and the other is the header, which is customer name. So the result is going to look like this. So we essentially have this, which is a blank or a zero, and we have the header customer name. So obviously these two values will always appear, a blank and a header. And we want to drop or remove the top two rows. So we can simply say, drop the top two rows and we get the result. Now the advantage of doing it with a drop is that if I do add more records in the future, this will get updated automatically. If you notice, if I add a Havish here, it gets added automatically. 